I took this broken camera and used it to make this lens. But will it look any good? Keep watching to find out. The project starts with this box of cameras I found in a bin. These are, by camera standards, very boring cameras. No fancy mechanisms or unique features, just simple but effective point and shoots. I thanked this one for its service and got to disassembly. Taking apart stuff like this is always a treat. The case came apart with ease, no clips or glue, which is a luxury to not have these days. The size and precision of the components is really something to behold. I took it apart system by system until I was left with what I was looking for. The optical components, separated into something that was easy to work with. The next step was to create a quick adapter just to see what type of image I could get. I'm no optical engineer, so every one of these cameras is a mystery box as to what I'll be able to get out of it. With this test adapter, I was able to get some decent imagery that told me it was worth moving forward. I warmed the printer up to get started printing some parts I'd designed in Fusion. These were put together quickly, and the design was close to working, but not quite, so back to the drawing board I made a second version. I cut a length of 2mm brass rod filed down the ends and then threaded one. I use a mini drill press to open up some of the holes in preparation for bolts. For this new mechanism, I also needed to drill through a spot I'd identified on the optics, which was a little nerve wracking. Assembling this new mechanism started with capturing this gear. Then I used four M2 bolts to secure the micro four thirds lens adapter in place. The optics can then be inserted. Of note here is how the lens has been flipped with what used to be the front facing into the camera. Next, the brass rod is screwed into this ring which can then mate with the hole in the optics and the gear ring. Finally, a front element is mounted and the lens is ready to use. This is not my first time trying this. Some years back I made this monstrosity to mixed results. That old lens had no adjustments for the optics which is something this new design changes. But how does it look? Well, you've already been watching it. Several shots from this video were taken on this lens. I also had a play with taking some other shots, which you can see here. It has a unique optical characteristics. Its depth of focus is about a millimeter, but the area in focus is actually really sharp. Objects you shoot need to be about a centimeter in front of the lens. The focus ring does a strange zoom slash focus change and makes the object have to be pretty much touching the lens. The zoom it provides is quite substantial, however if you compare the size of these two shots of ants. For reference just how much it's zoomed in, here's that screw from before compared to an SD card. Overall, it's a quirky lens, but surprisingly useful for my purpose. It's definitely a video lens, not a photo lens. You need movement to get much out of it. My previous experiments were fun, but I never really used them again. However, you will for sure be seeing this used in future videos. If you want to try this for yourself, I have uploaded the parts if you want to tinker with them or somehow find the specific camera I used. If not, you can always play with regular reverse rings or try your own non-printed adapters. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks, as always, for watching.